Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. Can you see me? Little bling I got from Walker's Saw Shop in Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you very much, Johnny, for the new jacket. I appreciate that. Let's get to work. I'm going to show you guys today how to um, unseize, clean, and repack the grease back into a sealed bearing. You got a sealed bearing that's uh, seized up on you, you don't necessarily need to go buy a new one. You can actually fix these things. Um, the seals in these things are theoretically made to keep the grease in the bearing and to keep water out. That's all fine and dandy for a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna get water creeping in there, you're gonna get the grease coming out, and it's gonna get rusted inside of there. Potentially, it's gonna be seized up, just like this one right here. You can't even move this one right here. First thing that you need to do to accomplish this job is to uh, go get yourself some Rainier beer. There are other beers that you can use for this job. As long as it's over about 5% alcohol, you'll be just fine. Second thing you, that you need to do is get these seals out. Now, seals, as far as I'm aware, there's only two different um, types of seals in sealed bearings. There's plastic ones and there's metal ones. I'm not really sure what kind of metal this is. They're like tin or aluminum or something like that. We want to take those out carefully. The reason we want to take those out as careful as we can is because when we're done this job, we want to pop those seals back in again. So we don't want to destroy those seals. Um, my favorite tool for doing that is this little uh, razor knife right here, like an Olaf uh, knife. That works great for both. If you have a little watch repair screwdriver, a tiny little flat screwdriver like this, that works great on um, the plastic ones and not so good on the metal ones though. It kind of destroys the metal ones a little bit. Anyway, you want to get those seals out. I'm going to concentrate on this one that's actually seized. I'm going to pull these metal ones out. They just come out like that. Perfect. Now you got both seals out from both sides. That bearing is seized solid. You can't even move that thing. How do we unseize one of these things? It's actually kind of simple. Um, what you're going to want to do is put something in that bearing to displace the rust, to soften that rust up, something like that. My favorite thing to use is carburetor spray, brake cleaner, something like that. Um, if you have WD-40, also works. If you don't have any of that spray kind of stuff, man, whatever you got, motor oil, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, anything that you can put in that bearing to lube it up a little bit. This is the inner race right here. That's called the inner race. This is the outer race. What you want to do is pinch with your two fingers, pinch that inner race like that, and then you should be able to freely move that outer race around like that so you know that it's a free bearing. This one right here is not seized, but it, it feels pretty dry. It, it could use those seals popped out and re-greased. This one's seized. I grabbed that inner race right there and I'm moving that outer race. I can't move that thing. Spray something in there. Whatever I said there, get something in there. Start working it. Hold that inner race and start working that outside race back and forth, back and forth, until it's going to start moving. It's going to start to move on you if you keep doing that. 
pretty soon you're going to see that it's moving further and further and further until it's it's getting freer it's getting freer all the time until it's going to go around one time so you can get that thing around one time you're pretty much golden there there it's going around one time it's getting easier and easier go back the other way now it's now I can spin that thing I can spin it around it's unseized right there that's unseized it's not seized anymore now we want to clean that as best as we can if you have an air compressor with an air nozzle on it perfect use that blow that out keep spraying it keep lubing it with something to get as much of that rust out of there as you can keep spinning it around keep spinning it around till it's clean it's going to just start freewheeling on you when you do that now we got it clean now we got to repack it with grease any kind of grease that you have at this point in time if you just unseize the bearing it really doesn't matter what kind of grease that you have use your grease for that you use for your hedge trimmer or for your gear head on your weed eater um, axle grease bearing grease whatever kind of grease you have um, I'm gonna use this is just extra heavy-duty wheel bearing grease right here I'm just gonna use that good enough now you want to get that grease in there um, you can just take a gob of grease out of there and and just put it in there like that and just smush it in there with your thumbs smush it through there that's my new word of the day by the way smush that's how you get that in there my father-in-law just told me a great tip on how to get grease through your bearing he calls it palming this is what you do you take a gob of grease like that <laughs> put it right in the palm of your hand <laughs> maybe it doesn't need to be that much you take your bearing and you start palming it like this and you take the edge of the grease that's closest to you and you start just doing this as you're rotating the bearing and just kind of grinding that bearing into the palm of your hand like that and that actually works awesome that smushes that grease right through there almost all the way through that bearing flip the bearing over and do the same thing on the other side keep on doing that you don't have to palm it it's kind of messy you don't have to do this you can do it with your thumbs if you want to but this actually works really good that actually works really good now that bearing is right full of grease take your seals that you already popped out carefully hopefully and you snap those back in and you can actually feel these things snap back in when you push those back in with your thumb you can feel those actually snap back into place you hold that inside race you spin that around and that feels like a brand new bearing so there you go that's how to pretty much restore a ball bearing you don't necessarily have to go buy a new one that works I hope I helped some of you guys out there again that's what I'm trying to do um, if you want to subscribe to my channel please do um, hit that little thumbs up button down there if you liked it you liked it that would be awesome Till next time, guys, Steve out.